everyone, it's Mary X Canadensis, and today I'm going to be fixing up this Nighty Night V2, I believe, Chloe, from 2008. So, this is the worst hair quality I think I've ever seen. Not quality per se, but like, condition. It's so bad. So I'm really nervous about this, but my friend, Andre, you might know him, has been nagging at me to do it. And he told me not to boil her hair, so this isn't going to take very much prep preparation. I'm just going to wash the hair out and then straighten it with a straightening iron. I'm really nervous about that, but I'll go ahead and do it. Cause she really needs it and she's complete. Like she's complete complete. So I really would like to put her on display and in preparation for the Bratz collection video that's coming soon, I would really like for my display to be completed. So yeah. Here is the part where we washed the hair. So I removed all the clothes because y'all were inordinately frustrated that I didn't do that last time. So I went ahead and washed her body. And I noticed that the kid had drawn underwear on her, which is kind of cute. Um, this is the shampoo part. I put a little bit too much shampoo, but whatever. And then I'm going to go rinse it in a second. You know, just... And I also used the shampoo on the body. I washed her, see? <laughs> and then the next step is conditioner. I accidentally put way too much conditioner. And the key thing with the conditioner is that I brush the conditioner through the hair and I let it sit for an appropriate amount of time on every single strand, coating every single strand. That's what the brushing is for. And here we go, we're moving on. We've moved to this side of the basement because there happens to be one plug in the basement that is not occupied by the washer and dryer, and it is this one. And this is where my straightening iron is. <laughs> so I'm not 100% happy with this result yet, but we'll see. So now we're gonna straighten her hair. Let's really hope that this works. Hi, buddy. You are so loving. <laughs> um, so yeah. And here we are over here at the straightening iron part. I've cut out a clip of this because this took me 11 minutes to straighten her entire head of hair. And I can only do two times speed on iMovie for some reason. So I just gave you a little selection of it. So I just straightened small pieces. Sometimes I passed over it multiple times. This is just something that as you do it, you figure it out. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I just kind of straightened them and then separated them. And as you can see, there's some longer strands there. In another clip, I'm going to be cutting those off just because I, I believe that when you get longer strands at the bottom like that, it's because when you brush the doll's hair, it can pull the... The way doll hair is rooted is that it's folded in half and then stuck in. So I think you pull one half of it, if that makes any sense. So I just cut those off. It's not really worth worrying about. And yeah, mixed... For me, it's very important that the hair is wet when you straighten. First of all, it's how you know you're actually getting a result. You get a sizzling sound. I don't really know if it makes a difference. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but I really like it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going through it. Don't burn your hand. I burned my hand several times, um, but not permanently. Don't worry, I'm fine. And you see that steam? It's so satisfying. And yeah, that's it for this one. This part of the video, surprisingly, only took two minutes. Can you believe that? Anyway, I stuck her in a cup, stuck a rock in there. That is a garnet mica schist, if you're wondering. Um, just so that the rock would be weighed, or the, the cup would be weighed down so that I could brush through the hair. Sorry about the overexposure on Chloe's head. I'm really working on lighting. I'm trying. I trimmed off a bunch of the longer bits that I pointed out to you earlier. That's me getting up to go get a hairbrush. I probably should have cut that part out. I forgot to grab a hairbrush for the hairstyling portion. So I'm pretty sure the doll's hair is in pigtails. I was too lazy to look it up, so I just went for it, and I think it looked really good in pigtails, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm basically just using my blue rainbow loom bands that my grandma got me for Christmas one year. I've never made a bracelet with them, but I use a lot of them, or I use them a lot for doll hairstyling. I highly recommend them. They don't seem to be overly fragile, and they don't seem to dry rot either. And I basically just put the ponytails up. I'm actually really satisfied with the placement on the head. Usually I get them very uneven. And then I pulled them from the top like that to make them move up the head a little bit. And I think she turned out really, really good. I was really impressed. That's why I'm sitting there like freaking out over it. Yeah. So here she is all done. I am completely blown away by this result. It could have used more trimming, but I wanted to preserve the length and I'm okay with the ends being a little bit ratty. I just cut off any, like, there were a lot of pulled hairs that were a little bit longer than they should have been, so I cut those off. But I don't really want to cut anymore, but here she is. Her hair is unbelievably soft. Like, this changes my perspective on this hair, this hair type entirely. She turned out so good. Oh, her earring. Get back in there. She turned out so good, and she looks so beautiful. 
And this doll was definitely given a new lease on life. I was just gonna keep her in the bin until I found another one that was better that I could just dress this, put this outfit on because I really do love this outfit, it's so cute. But now she can be on display with the others and she looks really, really good. I don't know how to fix the lip paint thing, so I'm not going to. If I ever do photography, I will just edit the rest of her lip in. Well, hello. Um, Ronaldo seems to agree that this was a good result. Thank you guys. Oh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and let me know what you think. Yeah. Bye guys.